Okay, so you found this video because you're looking for a heat pump or you're looking maybe at your own heat pump and wondering how it works. Uh, so this is the heat pump for our own offices and it, it does two things. This provides air conditioning, comfort cooling for our, our office but also the heating for our, our office. In heating mode, the trick with a heat pump, what it does, it absorbs the heat from the air around it. So we draw the air in the back, these two fans draw it through the heat exchanger which is inside. This particular one has two fans, sometimes they're smaller, we'll have one fans, sometimes bigger, uh, but this is our one and it's got two. This is a 14 kilowatt refrigerant heat pump. So we're drawing nice warm air in the back, and it, when I say warm it might be plus five, zero degrees centigrade. We're drawing it through and we're absorbing the heat from that air and we're putting it into our little pipes and pumping it to indoors where we're going to use it. More about that in a second. In the summer, like it is at the moment, we're going the opposite way. The indoor component is doing the heat pump work. It's absorbing the heat from inside our office. And again, we're pumping that hot now refrigerant gas to outside where we blow this air across it and that takes the heat away. So we're moving the heat from inside the office to outside. The heat pump works by the opposite, taking the heat from outside, bringing it inside. So the energy use isn't in creating the heat or cooling, simply from moving heat from one area to another area. In this case, from outside the office to inside the office. So that's why they're so efficient. If you're using one kilowatt of electric heat, or one kilowatt of electricity for an electric bar heater, you're gonna get one kilowatt of heat. If you use one kilowatt of electricity in a heat pump, you're gonna get somewhere between three and four kilowatts of heat, simply because you're not, like I say, using the electricity to generate the heat, you're simply using it to move the heat around. Okay, so this is both cooling and heating. So it's a heat pump condensing unit. This one is based on refrigerant. You can get ones as well, they're very popular now, based on water. So the whole refrigeration circuit is in here and we're pumping water in and out of the building. And they're mostly used for um, underfloor heating and showers and so on. This one's used for heating the office, the office space, and for cooling it in the summer. Let's pop inside and see what happens there. Okay, so heat pump part two. We're inside now. So we've just been talking about how the heat pump absorbs heat from the atmosphere, puts it into the little black pipes, which are then pumped inside to this particular system here. This is our office delivery system. It happens to be a draft free system. Uh, yours might look different or your new one might look completely different. It could be a high wall system or whatever. The same principle applies. So the heat pump is absorbing heat and we're taking it just from outside to inside. It comes through these pipes into our heat exchanger here, which looks very similar to the heat exchanger outside. But here, where the refrigerant comes in hot, we're drawing the less warm air from the office across it, and that's absorbing the heat. And as a result of our system, it's warmer. Okay, so it's warmer, that's gonna warm up our office. So now that the refrigerant gas has had the heat taken out of it, it travels back outside to the heat pump, where it gets warmed up again and continues back on its journey in here where we take the heat out of it. So that refrigeration cycle is happening all day long until we get warm enough and the thing switches off. Okay, in cooling mode, it's the reverse. So we're blowing the warm air from the office across the heat exchanger here. The refrigerant gas is absorbing that heat, so the air is then coming into the office uh, nice and cooled, also dehumidified. Going back out to the outdoor unit, hot, the atmospheric air outside is blown over it, takes away that heat and it comes back in here cool, ready to absorb the heat from the office air once again. Quick diagram here, so we draw the air over the heat pump you saw just outside, the heat then is sent through the pipes into the indoor unit where it's absorbed and sent out into the air and that refrigerant gas goes back cool, ready to absorb more heat and continue on its cycle. When we switch into cooling mode, we simply reverse this process. So now, we're reversing the system, we're absorbing the heat from the office, sending it outside to be dissipated. So when you're cooling, and using the same system for heating, you're simply moving heat from A to B. So we don't 
produce cooling, we actually remove heat. So that's how a heat pump system works, so hopefully that's been of use to you. I'm Joe Flanagan from the Ingenious Air Company, just trying to help you make the right decision about your air conditioning and heat pump.